guys, Eric740C here with Eric's RC channel. I um, just wanted to show the NASA MV2, um, kind of how to install it. Um, really brief and basic. Uh, so you're going to mount the, uh, this is the front of the quadcopter over here. So you're going to mount it with the little arrow pointing forward, of course. Um, this is a quadcopter, so um, don't mind the mess right now. That's going to get straightened up. But uh, as far as motor connections on the NASA, it goes... Um, M1, M2, M3, M4, those are the four you're going to use, and then these extras are for like a, uh, the gimbal, or whatever else you want to use. Um, and make sure on your, if your, um, ESCs have a BEC output, to, um, take the power wire and disconnect that, because this, this unit itself here, uh, supplies all the power you need for the receiver and the, the NASA MV2 module. So basically, that's motor one. It'd go one, two, three and four starting from the front right so one two three four kind of in a circle so motor number one self-explanatory m1 motor number two m2 m3 and m4 so and the negative wire is on the top and don't install them backwards all right so for the the receiver connections i'll go ahead and um explain this to you guys using the spectrum um, it doesn't apply if you use some other radio, such as a uh, DX. No, what is it? Uh, I used to fly with it all the time, and I turn it into 9x or Futaba or something like that. That's a different setup, and then there's other ones too. But for Spectrum, um, as you can see on the the flight controller itself, it says AETR, which I believe is um, Futaba's setup actually, channel one, two, three, and four. But for Spectrum. Um, channel 1 on your receiver, your Spectrum receiver, or your Orange RX or whatever you're using. I'm using the Orange RX 8 channel. Channel 1 is throttle, so channel 1 from your receiver is going to T on here for throttle. Channel 2, um, Spectrum setup is T-A-E-R. So throttle, aileron, elevator, rudder. So channel 2, since that's A, aileron, goes into port 1. Channel 3, elevator, E, port 2. Rudder, of course, channel 4 is the same, and it goes on the slot right here with the R, which would be 4 anyway. And then um, channel 5, I just went to U, X1, and X2 for the two auxiliaries. And X3 is where you're going to be getting your power from, from your um, little NASA PMU power management unit, I think. Um, and it's, it's labeled on here, too. It's got the CAN bus outputs and supports. Um, EXP out from this. The CAN bus cable will go into EXP. And then on the bottom, I've set up the little um, LED unit with the USB port, and that will go into LED. And then once I get the top on the quadcopter, there's a little output right here for the GPS with the CAN bus. So that's about it. I just got to tidy it up and uh, I got my two orange RX uh, long antenna satellites, one on each side, and then my main receiver in the back here. But uh, all right, guys, I'll see you around, and uh, hope you find the video somewhat useful. And subscribe if you haven't. See you later. Bye.